Hola, Internet! Yay! So, Lauren, it's really nice to talk to you. I've, I always waited for this moment to interview you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, Brazil miss you a lot, you know. Oh my God, I miss Brazil so much. So much! It's a pandemia, oh my God, I want it to end. Yes, and but that's okay because you give us a present now, releasing Lento Remix with uh, Pablo Vitar. We are so excited about this collab here. Thank you. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so glad it's finally out in the world. Yeah. And so tell me, how did this collab happen? Well, Pablo listened to Lento when it came out and they loved it. She loved it. So she was like, I want to get on this. And I was like, let's do it. Um, and so she, of course, Bravo Music um, made the remix the track. Yeah. Um, so they like, did it combine together and then they sent it back to me and I was like, oh, oh, oh my God. The way that the magic just came together. It's just her voice and the way that she does that high note at the end of her verse, the way she attacked her verse. I was like, let's go, Pablo, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it. And how did you meet for the first time? Um, I think we met on like a Brazilian TV show for the first time if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah, one time. But we need to reunite. We need to do another in-person moment because it's been too yes. long. So can you tell me a, a nice or funny moment during your conversations on with Pablo? We were just super supportive of each other. Everything that I do, everything that she does, we just like, we vibe and we support each other through it all. Like, she's so sweet and she's always like hyping me up and just like in my DMs like, yes, girl. And, you know, like, just like really genuine love, you know? So it's just nice yeah. to have that anytime. But like, of course, she's such an icon. So it's so amazing. Yeah. Besides Pablo being the most famous, one of the most famous singers in Brazil, uh, she's the most followed and streamed drag queen in the world. And this is so important, right? Because we can watch a drag queen on television, listen to her songs on radio uh, and on collabs with amazing artists like you. So what is the most important thing to you as an opening LGBTQ person about working with other LGBTQ artists? Is this something that you care about, you think about? Yeah, I mean, I just like making music with people who make amazing music and Pablo makes amazing music. It's not even like, I mean, of course, it's such a plus that we represent for the LGBTQ community. And of course, it's amazing that she, like you said, she's a mainstream drag queen. Like that is the shit, you know, mm -hmm. that is super like, breaking down barriers and walls for people you know what i'm saying so I, i i love the opportunity to collab with amazing artists and she's an amazing artist so yeah perfect her voice her voice is insane i love her and oh look she's here with me yeah my toy. <laughs> i love it i love it i need yours now okay to be with her here okay your toy <laughs> so i know that you listen to brazilian music you know our artists So what other Brazilian artists would you like to collaborate with? I mean, I'm open. I'm really open to whoever, to be honest. I love like, um, like the polka. It's called polka music, right? Yeah, yeah, polka. I love, I love that genre. I love that sound. Anita, of course, is a friend yeah. of mine. So like her and I collabing one day would be incredible. I'd love to collaborate with her. But I'm really open, honestly. Like I love making music and I love making music with people from all over the world. I love like the global impact of music. Um, and it's really important to me to not just, you know, stick to US artists, but to like expand yeah. out, out into other realms, you know? Okay, but, but let me tell you something. Polka, this moment is at Big Brother Brazil. <laughs> A what? You know, Big Brother, Big Brother, the reality show. Oh my gosh, show. yes, 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 yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's really nice. Um, so let's talk about your new album because your fans are crazy about it. I know. <laughs> Can you give me some spoilers, please? Ah, no, not yet, not yet. I know, I know, it's not time to release the spoilers yet. I'm still oh. in the process of finishing up the songs. Um, I've had some like health things going on, so like I've it's kind of delayed me a little bit, but um, but I'm so ready and the songs are picked and the you know what I'm saying? Like they're all really um, 
special to me and I wrote them all and like I'm really 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 excited to share them with everybody because they're really coming from my heart they're not necessarily not all of them are like you know dance like like this remixes but um yeah. there's you know some sensual vibes in there you can get you know a little sexy with some of them mm, yeah love it some latin vibes maybe Mm, I'm gonna I think maybe on the full album yes there's gonna be some some energy of that nature but like I like to draw from elements of Latin music not necessarily like making Latin music but um and not not this album this particular I'm, I'm very like diverse so there's gonna be yeah. a lot of different albums with a lot of different sounds probably from me but for this first album it's more like alternative R&B with like elements of Latin music like for me like the trumpet is really important And yeah. like, I have a couple songs that have that kind of like rhythmic energy to them. So yeah. Yeah, nice, awesome. And are you going to release it is still this year? Yes, no, this, yeah, yeah, sacabo, sacabo el wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. And can we expect more songs in Spanish? On the album, there's going to be some yeah. more Spanglish, but um, like I said, like I'm, I'm, creating so many different things right now. So there's going to be different albums that, ha that touch upon different parts of myself. So this first album is much is more like English and kind of more like an R&B alternative world, like I said. Nice, nice. Okay. And how do you feel singing in Spanish, your first language, right? After singing in English for such a long time? Yeah, I mean, I love singing in Spanish. There's a different kind of energy when I sing in Spanish, like the way that my voice fix the the vowels and everything like I don't know what it is I just my voice feels even more powerful when I sing in Spanish so um yeah. I mean I'm definitely going to be making a Spanish album that's like completely top to bottom Spanish but that's not going to happen the first album is not going to be that so I just want to preface that but it will be happening because I have like a, like I've been creating songs for three years now so I have a lot of different things um created that I just am curating into different projects so this is that will definitely be one of the projects. And it's so nice the way you use your voice to talk about important things such as LGBTQ community, women empowerment and politics. What moment of your life have you felt the most empowered? Ooh, I think right now is the moment in yeah. my life that I feel most empowered, to be honest. And I found also that that empowerment comes from within. I think that when I, when I realized that and when I realize that my poder comes from me and not from external validation that's when the shifts really switched in me of like feeling my most powerful my most confident my most beautiful my most authentic so i would say that that time in my life is right now nice and i imagine that the thing you read the most on social media is where is the album right <laughs> <laughs> oh my god nita mahina Every single day, they're like, okay, girl, cool, but like, where's the album? Okay, yeah, dope, but where's the album? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I know that they're wanting it and I know that they're needing it, but um, when y'all hear the story of how this music got to be, everybody will forgive me for how long it's taken yeah. and they will appreciate yeah. it when it comes, I promise. <laughs> yeah, but that, there's this pressure. And in general, people don't know the complexity about making a full album and especially because of the, the industry, right? And what bothers you the most in this the industry? I think that just like nowadays, people expect artists to be like products because they consume things so quickly. Um, yeah. So like, there's no um, reverence for the process. And for me, like, having been in the group for six, seven years, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took yeah. me some time to really undo all of the little like mind shit that had gone on in my brain about who I thought I was and what I thought I wanted to be making and what I thought I wanted to do with my life um, music wise. And I really had to rewire that and explore that. And it's, it's been a very gentle process for me because I'm being gentle with myself through my growth. But um, 2020 was a year that really changed my life and really sat my ass down and put me into like a very serious perspective shift. Um, and since then, like, I mean, granted, I've had these songs and I've been sitting on these songs for like three years, like I said. So it's been yeah. a long time coming, but I feel like I'm finally at a place where I've curated what I feel is me right now. Um, or even like this first album, I feel like is just the first chapter, you know what I'm saying? Like a prequel yeah. to this, to the situation, because 
so much happened that I'm ready to like write all over again. I haven't really been able to write because you know it's COVID and I like to be in a room with people. I don't like to do like Zoom shit. So um, <clears throat> now that we're sort of getting back to like this little bit of normalcy and people are feeling more comfortable with sessions and stuff, you know, I'm gonna be able to dive in. And once this music comes out, people will really understand, I think my sound and who I am as an artist and a writer. So I think new opportunities are gonna flow in and I'm gonna be able to really express myself even more through my music. So it's all gonna be like a prog progression of growth because I'm gonna be making music my whole life. I'm not in a rush, God's not in a rush. So I'm, yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> yeah, nice. And we love to see your, your process, you know, of growing. It's really nice. It's really beautiful. <laughs> And so I have now a, a quickly game to, to do with oh. you. It's like a random questions game. Basically, you just need to answer some random questions, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, nice. Your favorite TV show, Like you've watched it on quarantine. Oh my God, I watched so many. Whoa. Oh, The Undoing with Nicole Kidman. <gasps> yeah, I love it. Oh my God, blew yeah. my mind. Not Didn't blow my mind, but also blew my mind, you know? I yeah, was like, oh, yeah. this is predictable. But also I didn't, yeah. like the whole time I was like, what's going on? It's like nothing new, right? Right? Like, yeah. Oh. Uh, your favorite pop diva. Oh, my favorite pop diva. Right now, Dua Lipa. Yeah, nice. I really love her. And Lady Gaga as well. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Your dream collaboration. James Blake. <gasps> awesome. Yeah. Your guilty pleasure. Oh, what is my guilty pleasure? Oof, I have a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but French fries, McDonald's French fries. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Your favorite word in Portuguese. I was about to say a really bad word. Oh, my God. Gostosa. Ah, and you can say a bad word here. That's not a problem. My friend, my friend is Brazilian. Her name, and she, um, she taught me porra. <laughs> yeah, good. Porra. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I like gostosa. I, I use gostosa more. Yeah, yeah. It's better. And now a hidden talent. Hmm. A hidden talent. I can rollerblade. Really? I'm a rollerblader, yeah. Nice. That's yeah, awesome. I guess that's a hidden talent. I'm not like yes. a professional, but I can, I can skate my way down the street, you know? <laughs> that's a talent, that's a talent. Uh, the last question is the audience favorites. Can you impersonate a famous person? Oh, okay, let's see. Who, who do you want me to impersonate? I, I always, I'm I so good at impressions. And then when I, when I, when it comes to me being on the spot, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. really? Um, I don't know. I, Anyone? Ah! A pop, a pop diva, maybe. That's okay. I, here in my channel, here in Brazil, everyone impersonate uh, Pablo Vittar. I don't know if you can. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna say something that she, she does a lot that is like, you can? You can? <laughs> Good, perfect. <laughs> I love oh my God, it. That was weak. That was weak. Next time, I'm gonna be prepared. Next time. Okay, okay, perfect. Lauren, thank you so much. It was really nice talking to you. You too, Mama. <laughs> thank you. Can you say something to your Brazilian fans? El te amo muito. Um, thank you so much for your support. You guys are amazing. You already know it. You already know, I have a tattoo of when I first yeah. performed with y'all, like, yeah. and I'll see you Thank soon, you. hopefully. Yeah, we are waiting for you, okay, when things get better. Thank you so yeah. much, have a good time. Bye! Bye! Ei, 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 meu anjo, volta aqui! Se você curtiu esse vídeo, deixa o seu like, comenta, compartilha pra geral e se inscreve no canal se você ainda não é inscrito.